Also, tribe friends and family, I'm here for an all signs message today. As always, it's a general and timeless reading. You could be any zodiac sign, so just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't for the next person. And if you would like a personal reading, one on one personal session, or Akashic Records, you can go to 144bluerosetemple.com or you can message me. My email's in the box below. There are a few new services and workshops coming up, so feel free to go check that out. And as always, thank you for your love, thank you for all of your support, and thank you for being here today. If my energy and my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe, click on that notification bell and that like button so I can connect more with your energy and so you can know when the next reading does come out. All right, we are going to grab a card from the past life deck, Divine Mother and Father. Now I'm feeling a lot of the Thoth energy, Akashic Records, so this reading is going to be about soul contracts. Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, for the All Signs Collective. What do we have for the All Signs Collective today? What do they need to hear the most? What do they need to hear the most here? Oh, Jesus. Okay. That was quick, Collective. Uh, there's a spiritual court in session. Authority figures, galactic. But with this, right, I'm seeing... So it could be like an actual judge. Maybe you do like have a court case. But what I am seeing, though, is spiritual court because we have galactic over here. Why authority figures with galactic? Too many cards. I'm going to put them back. We have too many cards, but we do have Oracle, the Secret, the Leap, Dolphin, Caller. So they're pretty good cards. What is one card for authority? Okay. Authority figures and galactic. You are such a galactic soul. You're not tethered to this world. Uh, you may even be a little bit of a rebellious kind of energy. We have illumination, the radiant self shining soul. So you are a galactic star seed over here. Uh, I'm also hearing a Lyran star seed. Some of you are Lyrans. Why do we have light dancer authority figures? You are needing to stand your ground in a situation here. Okay, but what I heard is what I heard spiritual court. I'm going to grab one more card. Why do we have authority figures, galactic, stand your ground, and light dancers? Soulmate. Why do we have stand your ground? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, third party. Um, collective. It's interesting because I read for Pisces earlier. So you can be Pisces. Pisces, is. this feels like this reading may resonate with you too. But this could also be any sign. And it's interesting. We have ancestral spirit, Kali Ma, soulmate, and third party. All right, you are a galactic star seed. There's like some sort of spiritual court. Um, this reading is going to go deep. You're not some okay. You're not someone who's meant to be in third party situations. Five of Swords over here. And it's not your ego. It's not your humanness. Confirmation of the random scream. It's not your human, it's not your ego. Listen, the spiritual court's in session, but it has to do either with an ex of yours or a lover of yours. Uh, you are someone who's here on a mission. For some of you, your last lifetime was very galactic. It was like a very recent lifetime, which is why you have a lot of this energy that's activated within you. But you're definitely a star seed, a light worker. You're not here, though, for third party energies. Um, devil card, karmic energies. You're not here for that. Um, that the ways of this world and dating, right, in society, it's like there's always other people or this or that, which is fine. Especially like if you live the way, that's fine. Um, society, the world, you're not up, quite literally, you're not of this world collective. All right, light dancer galactic, you're not of this world as a soul. So on a soul level, you know that you feel it. And you're really not of this world. You're not, you didn't come here, you didn't reincarnate here to live in the ways of this world. But even when it comes to say dating and connections, relationships, there's a soulmate here, but there is a third party presence. You're not here for that. And again, it's not your human or your egoness. It's like, well, pick me, choose me. No, like your light working mission. If there's third parties, um, it, it's in the way of your mission. You're not here to worry and focus on those things. 
You're here to live your soul mission. Third party energy is a distraction. Okay. Like you don't have, like we have time, right? But you don't have the time to be worrying about those things. Um, you are someone who I'm hearing soul star chakra and up. So eighth dimension and up again, you're just a, um, you're operating at a very high vibration. Um, but you're definitely more of the galactic star seed light worker. Okay. Now, and I'm also hearing the crystalline heart. Your crystalline heart is very activated. Now, why do we have, okay, strength card. Why do we have soulmate, third party, authority figure, stand your ground? There goes the number three, third party. Oh, wow. Okay. And the Emperor card here, Queen of Cups. So it could be for you, Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it also could be any sign. I'm getting this channeled message, and it feels like it's from your soul contract, your Akashic records. Um, human timelines, right? Learn lessons through other people, which we all do. We just plain old simple. We all learn lessons through people. There's certain lessons that your soul does not need to learn through dating, that your soul has already learned those lessons. You're here for something greater and higher. Um, that's why you're not interested in third parties. You're not interested in like casual mingling and sharing of your energy, etc. It's not your human and it's not coming from your ego. Your soul has mastered that in other lifetimes. This lifetime is different. You will have a very high vibrational, high dimensional form of love. And that's why you have no interest in casual dating. You have no interest in third parties and whatever that this is. It's not in your soul contract. I'm feeling your Akashic Records energy and other life. You're a very advanced ancient soul. You mastered that part already. You're here in this lifetime, really living from that crystalline heart. Your heart is open and up. You're not run by your lower chakras. Again, we're all humans in a human experience, but according to your Akashic records, your soul contracts, there's certain lessons in dating. You've done those lessons in other lifetimes, which is why you know on a heart and soul level, you're not meant to do those things, or it doesn't feel in alignment to do things casually or to have multiple people in third parties. It doesn't serve you. You don't need it. You don't need the flesh, okay? Um, again, very much so an advanced ancient soul why do we have the strength card here for this reading i want to see what it is six of pentacles over here why the strength card here yes oh yes you have really mastered a lot of these lessons but in other life not only this lifetime but other lifetimes why the three of cups here you don't care about partying. You don't care about being seen. You don't care about multiple people. You're here for your life purpose. King of Wands over here. Uh, I'm seeing you as someone who's really mastered your lower chakras, desire, like lust, all of those different energies. You've mastered it. And that's why it doesn't, um, it doesn't interest you. Why the Queen of Cups? You're expanding, okay? Why soulmate and third party? Why soulmate and third party? Why the ten of pentacles and the eight of pentacles for soulmate and third party? You have five of swords over here. You have a lot coming your way, collective. A whole lot. It's saying to have patience. We do have the five of swords over here. And so for some of you, your person's third party or even yours, it could actually be work. Third party is not always uh, like another person. It could be work. However, I'm seeing temptations and distractions with the three of cups energy here too. Why the five of swords here for this 10 of pentacles and eight of pentacles? Yeah, so two of wands in reverse, fear of change, indecisiveness, restricted choices. Either you or this soulmate here collective fears change. 
fear of not having options. So it's like collective, your soul, like you're already ready. You've mastered these lessons. Your soulmate is still mastering these lessons. And it feels like they're in the in-between where they do kind of have a fear of change. They fear of not having options. They fear leaving the old life. Confirmation. To your soulmate collective, if they were to be in a connection with you, there's a part of them that feels restricted. And that's actually not the truth. Because that's not how you feel. I mean, it's their truth, you know, but on a soul level, soul contracts and Akashic Records level, they are kind of not ready for commitment. Because again, they feel restricted if they're in commitment. You don't. You're an untethered soul. It's so interesting, this mirroring, because it's like your soulmate collective. The set of pentacles is here. Uh, but for some of you, your soulmate is not ready to move on from third parties. They feel like they'd... There's an energy where they feel stuck, which is not necessarily true, but that's how they feel when it comes to commitment. Ten of pentacles energy here. This ten of pentacles is actually here, but... They're getting pulled into the lower timelines. They're, and it feels like they're like, yeah, four of wands. It feels like there's a divide between you and the soulmate collective because you're not there. You're, you've risen above that. It feels like for you, you can be in a relationship, in a connection, and you don't feel restricted. You're still who you are. You're still free. The lack of choices of human beings and people, that doesn't make you feel less free. You're not of this world. So you don't, you just don't see it. Maybe how they see it. Okay, again, you're someone, your crystalline heart, your higher heart chakra is very open. It's very active. You see things differently than this person does. And they're like almost there with you, but they're not quite there. So just know that you're very protected. But I get on a spiritual level, which is a little bit of, again, Pisces. This was coming out in your reading. So you could be Pisces, but could it be any sign anyway, too? Um, you in this lifetime are not meant to be distracted by people, by dating. It doesn't mean that you're not meant to date. It's either they're on your level or they're not. And you're not meant to be distracted by people who are still learning their lessons when you've learned the lessons. All right. Why two of wands in reverse? The sun and the moon. Ace of swords, the truth. They have a fear over here with the moon card. It's all about fear. It's all about intuition, the subconscious. You have the sun and the moon. Okay. And so it's also the balance, right, of the light and the shadow. Your person, this soulmate, they're going through a lot in their head right now. It says no, yes, yes, no. Like they really don't know what they want to do. It's, this is reading is very interesting for your collective, okay? Now, could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Leo energy too. Uh, that fire energy though is also the lower chakras. It's that primal energy. Uh, and so what I do see you here is you're in mastery of your primal energy, your primal self, like lust, desire, things like that. You're not of this world. You're in this world. You're not of it. Clearly, with all of this star seed energy, you're just not, right? Star of, is, is that a star? No, this is a butterfly. Anyways, <laughs> you're not of this world, okay? And so these things just doesn't satisfy you. you. You like things that are soul aligned on a soul level. The flesh you could care less about. It's nice, but like you could care less about that. Why King of Wands with the Strength card? My King of Wands with the Strength card. You're fine by yourself. You don't need another human being to make you feel loved or this or that. You know, you don't want physical touch unless it's on a soul level. And if it's not that, you're good. You don't need it. Nine of Cups over here. You are very, very fulfilled within yourself. Why Three of Cups and the Ace of Wands? 
the soulmate that you're dealing with collective. They're really in the in-between two timelines right now, where it's like a part of them still wants the old life. They still want kind of third part. They, they kind of want their freedom. But to them, freedom is like the freedom of people and this and that. You see things differently than them. To you, that's not freedom. You could care less about that. Been there, done that. But this person, uh, it's like they kind of feel trapped, okay? Why the Three of Wands with the Queen of Cups? Why the Queen of Swords here? Okay, I do see a new cycle starting over here, okay? King of Pentacles. Um, where's the Collective's energy here? Oh, huh. Jesus Christ. Why Knight of Swords with the Tower card? Collective, you are having really big shifts and changes in your life. Again, you're good by yourself. You don't necessarily need anything. And if you're going to share energy with anyone or anything, it's going to be very intentional. Uh, I do see you all of a sudden, there's wealth that comes in. Uh, there's a lot of new ideas, new plans, maybe especially regarding money or abundance. You are doing very well right now, okay? Especially when it comes to money, your financial status is shifting in a very positive way, collective. Ace of Swords over here. How does this soulmate feel about the collective? Oh, Jesus. Collective. Uh, your soulmate here, they're quite literally in between two worlds where there's a choice as far as uh, soul contracts. They can continue looking around because a part of them does not feel ready for a relationship, a connection. They feel trapped or restricted when they're in a relationship and in a connection. They still have more soul lessons to learn. And they're making a decision. Do I do it? Do I not? Um, and they're going to have to make that decision. Why the three of swords with the two of coins here for how the soulmate feels about the collective? Why the three of swords? You have the four of swords here. It does feel like collective, this person that you're dealing with. It's interesting because you have beautiful energy. So how are you doing? Your money is increasing. You're doing well. This person, your soulmate, they're choosing a lower timeline. All right. I do feel like they have more work to do when it comes to temptation. They're not in full control of their lower self, of maybe even their lust. Okay. And... Your spirit team's not going to allow that, period. You have stand your ground and you have authority figures, but that's a spiritual court here. This person would bring chaos to your life because this person does not know what they want. And it feels like that's the theme of this reading. This person, the reason why you're being protected from this person is because they don't realize them not knowing what they want brings chaos to your life. You're a very powerful, very advanced soul and star seed, a light worker. So you you really don't have time for those things, you know? It's like those soul lessons to you is like kindergarten where you've been there, done that. I don't need that. This person and like everyone has their own journey. But one thing that your spirit team is not going to allow this person to do is to drag you into their own indecisiveness and chaos. Like they don't realize that they are in chaos because they don't know what they want themselves. So if they don't know what they want, how can they lead you if they are not even leading themselves? All right. Now, how does the collective feel about the soulmate? Oh. Collective. There's a spiritual court in session. When it comes to this love connection, a spiritual court is truly in session justice. This is the law and order card of the tarot. You just want balance, justice, karmic justice, consequences, law, honesty, integrity, life lessons, and truth. Why justice for how the collective feels about this person? 
Why Justice and the Four of Cups? You have the Star card over here. A lot of Ma'at energy as well. The Star card is very pure. It's about hope, faith, inspiration, and healing. It also represents the New Age of Aquarius. And then we have the Four of Cups over here too. I do feel like you are going to say no to this person. And it feels like though on a soul level, this person is a soulmate. But you're not here. Some of the life lessons and soul lessons like on a soul level that this person is clearing, they would bring chaos to your life, period. And so you're going to be very protected. All right, and you have the two of cups over here. So what this is showing is there is definitely a spiritual court in session when it comes to your soulmate, this person. Um, they're choosing between two timelines. They're going to step onto a lower karmic timeline, which is none of your business. It's also not a bad thing. There's no good or bad when it comes to kar karma, right? Um, this person though, if they don't learn the lesson through you, they're going to learn it through their next relationship or like through someone else. Because this person feels like it's you, but it's not you. It's source. It's the divine. You are actually reflecting back to them their shadow self. You are reflecting back to them a soul lesson that has nothing to do with you, but them on a soul level that they need to clear and balance. Now you are someone who's already mastered that lesson. They have not mastered their lust, their primal self and third party energies in complete total. They're working on it. They haven't fully mastered it and you have. And so uh, knowing your time, your place, and also knowing when it's time to end something because this person is just gonna bring this chaos into your life. Uh, I do see, and this is beyond just your own free will, your spirit guides, your spirit team, this spiritual court is just not um, allowing this person to bring this energy into your life. So they're going to be vibrated out of your life. It does look like you're going to reject their offer over here and you're just going to focus on your spirituality, uh, your healing. What's the advice for the collective? That's the truth, okay? Um, And what's also coming through is remain single, remain alone until someone is aligned with you, until someone can match your energy. All right, we have Ace of Swords and the Nine of Coins. So either way here, collective, like, yes, you're walking away from this person. You don't have time. Just And it's not, again, your humanness or your ego saying it. On a soul level, you've been there, done that. Like, you really don't have time for that. Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles over here. All right. So with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, you are actually coming into alignment with your higher timeline. Honestly, the truth is, Ace of Swords, this person is going to keep on learning these lessons through the next people that they date. That's none of your business. It has nothing to do with you. In the meantime, you are in alignment with your soul purpose. You are in alignment with your higher self and your higher timeline, and it's going to materialize for you. So either way, you're good. Remain focused here. Um, this person definitely, though, can be a distraction if they can't figure out what the heck it is that they want, okay? Um, now, what's some advice for the collectors in this reading? You're making a wise decision by walking away. End of a cycle, emotional healing. So yes, you're going to be healing after this. Um, you are going to close out this cycle. And it's going to be a wise decision for you not to entertain this energy. Okay, again, the person's not a bad person. They just have healing to do. And you've been there, done that. All right. Um, it feels like you're also someone who's pretty mature. This person feels a little bit immature. Okay. And as I say that we have Bridget, move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have your power. Yeah, call back your power. Recognize that you have the power. Whatever it is that you felt that you saw in this person, that is you. All right. Um, and so what I am seeing, though, is you calling back your power. I see very beautiful things coming in for you, Collective. I'm going to grab a few more cards. What are a few more cards for advice? Oh. 
for some of you too. So full moons may resonate with you. A full moon. Maybe you saw this person, met this person during a full moon, the upcoming full moon. Whatever resonates with you. And you have the card celibacy and spirit baby. Okay. Again, you're someone that you know your soul contracts. There's also a spirit baby that wants to come through in your life. This could be a passed on spirit baby or spirit baby in the future. Um, and this spirit baby, though, wants to be born. And so if someone comes into your life and the spirit baby knows of like, no, they, they are not going to give you a family. They are not going to, they're not going to commit to you, whatever it is. Your spirit baby is also protecting you. Okay. Why do we have spirit baby in full moon? Dreams, fortune. Okay. Pay attention to your dreams at this time now. Some of you are even dreaming of this baby. This is a very powerful spirit baby, though. Uh, this spirit baby has its own soul contract. And so some things that go on in your life, it's actually in alignment for this future spirit baby. Even if it's years from now, some of the things that you're doing now, some of the cycles that you're closing out are actually in preparation for the spirit baby. Now, what's another card of advice for this reading for the collective? What's another card of advice for this reading for the collective? Love, humility, and respect healing the earth. You know why you're here. You know who you are. You're not... I do feel like there's a part of this person that's kind of still figuring themselves out. You're not figuring yourself out. You are a light worker. You are a star seed. You are here to bring peace and balance and harmony to the world, to the earth, and through yourself. If you want to change the world, you change yourself. And so I do see you in this energy, just recognizing your soul mission here. It's much bigger than you, your ego, your desires. And so that's why it's like, again, you reincarnated here already having some of these lessons mastered, you know, or like you mastered it pretty early on in life. This person hasn't mastered it yet. And you're being very protected because they're only going to bring chaos to your life. They don't know what they want. Like they're still figuring out themselves. What is a final message for the collective? Yamaya. Okay. Origins, freedom, and power. Okay, definitely a lot of power coming in for you and reclaim your power uh, right over here. We do have freedom. And on the bottom of the deck, we have sanctuary, privacy in violation of personal boundaries, respected boundaries. Okay, so for some of you, this person kind of just violates your boundaries, this, that, maybe has third parties. Um, it's not even, again, you, your humanness or your ego. It's a part of your soul contract that you're not meant to deal with that foolery. And it's fine. It's fine that people live that way. It's not your soul contract. You're here focused on your soul mission as a light worker, as a star seed. Okay, that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day.